Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and my tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create navigation uh, tabs within a page in Power BI. In, this will help you save creating multiple tabs in the BI. Now, if what I'm trying to explain here is basically I have a chart here which has which is showing total sales and I have a button here which is slightly grayed out cogs and profits which is saying that they are not active right now it's only total sales which is active so when i click on cogs over here you will see the details for cogs you can have multiple charts exactly like this to display all the information related to cogs on this particular page and then likewise i have for profit so when i click on profits i get the profit details and the rest of the two buttons here are slightly grayed out indicating that they are not active so I'm going to teach you how to do this. So let's get started with this tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to insert and then click on shape. I'm going to select the rounded rectangle over here. So once I have this shape inserted, let's quickly uh, format this. I'm going to change the fill of this to a little lighter gray. And then I'm going to change the shape size, the rounded corners to 10% because I don't really like two rounded corners and then I don't need the outline. So I'm going to turn off the outline as well. So once I have this and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and make a duplicate of this and reduce the size of this to exact size that you want to have this as a header over here. For example, it's going to appear something like this. So and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the shape here and increase the rounded corners here to about 20%. Okay, so this is going to be our size of the uh, shape. Okay, so and then let's go to text and turn this on and first type in here as total sales. Okay, and then I need the font color to be black. Let's increase the font size as well a little bit. So we've now got total sales. Let's add two more here. Let's call this as Cox and paste it once again and let's call this as our profits okay so we now have three uh, buttons over here now let us quickly group them right click and click on group and then what you need to do is you need to go to the view tab click on selection pane and now if you see here we have now created a group Let's rename this group and call this as active buttons. Okay, I'll tell you why we're calling this as active buttons. And let us also uh, name these here, call this as total sales. And then the second one here, we'll call this as cogs. And the third one here is profits. We'll quickly assign align uh, them as well in the order that they are right now okay and this is our uh, main background okay and now what we will do is we will copy this particular group and paste here so that we create a duplicate of this and then what we will do is we will rename this to inactive buttons inactive buttons okay and then we will hide the active buttons here so we'll see only inactive buttons over here now let us select all three of the buttons over here go to the fill option here and increase the transparency to 50 percent okay so once we have this now let us unhide the other buttons as well okay now let us take this group and put this over here so we have that over here let this let's push this a little upward so and then like this, let's change the shape size to a little broader here. Okay, so once we have this, we will take this as this group as well, our inactive buttons and place them right above that particular buttons over there. So we now have active buttons, inactive buttons, and we have main. So we'll move this main in between the inactive and active buttons okay so now let's add a chart over here so the first chart that we will add here is total sales we'll get the item type and then we'll get the uh, total sales amount okay let's add a, a column chart 
we'll add a column chart here quickly and then let's quickly format this and then let's get rid of the uh, background here firstly so that we have this particular thing okay so we now have the sales by item type so when we click on total sales we need to see this chart okay likewise uh, and then we'll let's quickly rename this to call and call this as sales chart okay let's create a duplicate of this chart and then let's change this to cogs which we have over here i'm going to bring these two values and then i'm going to change the data colors here to something different maybe about this color okay so we now have the uh, cogs chart let's rename this to cogs okay and then let's create another copy of this and we need profits so total profit where is our total profit total profit total cogs okay we have profits here so we'll bring in profit and then let's rename this to profit and change the data color to something about in this color okay so we now have cogs profit and sales chart okay so now what we will be doing is we will be going to bookmarks we'll go to the view here and click on bookmark new bookmark here and i'm going to call this as total sales okay and now what we will be doing is um, so when total sales is activated i want i don't want to see profit i don't want to see cogs okay and in my active button i don't want to see cogs and profits so the moment we hide them you see here that this has turned to a little lighter shade of uh, the gray now you can see that total sales is active so all you can do is now you can go here and click on update so we now have created a bookmark for total sales now likewise you need to add a new bookmark here call this as cogs and when you go to cogs here you need to select uh, unhide cogs and hide rest of the other charts okay so we'll hide sales chart we'll hide profit chart and when we have our uh, uh, sorry profit chart visible okay we'll unhide that and we'll place our cogs chart over here okay and then we have cogs let us click on update you can see here cogs is selected and the other two are in lighter shade you can play around with different colors to what suits you better and then we we'll click on update we now have created cogs likewise we will also create for profit oops profit okay and then we will unhide everything and then show profit here and then um, show profit and hide total sales okay um, one more thing that we need to do here is uh, active buttons profit unhide cogs and total sales so you see here the button is now activated we will place this chart exactly over here so that this is activated and then let we will now update the profit okay so once we have created these bookmarks it is now time for us to assign them go to uh, view selection pane and hide all of the inactive buttons okay let us bring everything here first unhide everything okay go to total sales and then go to action and assign this to a bookmark and then assign the bookmark here to total sales okay likewise let us go to cogs now turn on action select type bookmark and then select bookmark here called as cogs go to profits enable bookmark bookmark and then profit okay so once this is done what you also need to do is you need to go to the uh, selection tab and now hide the active buttons and then go to the uh, format tab do repeat the same thing for the uh, inactive buttons as well go to action bookmark bookmark this is total sales profit okay now we will unhide the active buttons okay now when you go and select cogs you will see that we're seeing cogs here and the rest of the two buttons are hidden likewise if we select profit we now have profit and the rest of the two buttons are 
slightly more transparent saying that they are inactive right so this is about the tutorial on how you can create uh, a chart in a particular page without having to create multiple tabs so i hope you found this video helpful please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials